We continue to respond regarding the starting system and understand the basis of the system well so that we can address future breakdowns of any kind. We continue, see if we hit the button and the generator does nothing. It is possible that the button to press the start button is wrong, but it can also be. Then the wiring, fuses, intermediate, etc. There is something that is not bringing current to my solenoid, this one, or just that the battery is discharged. I want to know that the battery is not discharged and that my starter motor is working. We put this one together with this one like that. Okay, there we are seeing that I have a battery. This is the solenoid. The solenoid, no, I don't have to bridge this internally. There is a contact that goes down and bridges these two cables. Let's see how it works. Look what we are going to do about this motor. I already have direct current from this generator. Fix this is the cable. This terminal is the cable that has to bring current from the switch. Okay, if I bridge this with this there, I have it working. That is, we see that it actually works. Okay, that's what it does when I press the switch, that is, here's a cable here hidden that brings current here, look here, I see this white cable, see it, that white wire brings current from the switch here to the solenoid, lower the switch and bridge these two poles to me, okay, this is the base of the boot, pulse is not working. It doesn't get current to the solenoid, it doesn't bridge, so we're going to find out what's going on, the wiring, the switch and address the fault. Okay, another important thing, the battery is fine or it may be bad or it may be low. We measured, okay, let's measure on the starter motor envelope, look at the 1260 tester, the battery is fine. If I measure the same here now, I also have 1260. But what if I give the starter, give you two volts, what's going on, why is this happening? Well, here it is happening logically because the wiring actually heats up, it is very thin, but I just want to leave it as an idea. If when we start the motor, the voltage drops to the ground, the generator will not start and I have a battery problem, all right? Well, more information in Genergy IS reminds you. Forbidden without stopping learning.